Hello everybody. So today we're going to look at uh, a hinge pin remover that I bought a couple days ago. I was trying to take the hinge pins off the Huffmobile. I got the back off without too much trouble. Got the top one off here. The uh, center one on the front doors, as you can see, I started to admire the door from the skin. I decided that uh, I'd rather spend money on tools and money uh, and time fixing the door skin. So the middle one, it's kind of hard to swing at it. And the bottom one, it was kind of stiff, so I couldn't get it off. So let's see, get enough light. So it protrudes a little bit, like maybe a, a 32nd of an inch or something, a millimeter. So uh, this is what I got. Got this from Sacramento Vintage Ford, as you can see. A bit of details on there. I opened it up to see what we got. And uh, it very apparent is that it's a, a Bob Drake. So I forgot to look in your catalog, but uh, not to worry. Where I got it from was delivered within a day, so I can't complain about that. Here's the instructions. It's got four pins. I haven't read the instructions yet, but I assume that it's not long enough to go all the way in one shot, so you just switch the pins out perhaps. We'll find out soon enough. You can uh, hit pause, you could read that. Right now, I'm reading it through the screen here. So then we need to hint, put poly on it, or heat it. I haven't done either. These hinge pins will assume have been on the car for, well, let's say, 85 years. So I'm just going to mount the camera on the uh, stand and we'll uh, get back to it once I get things set up. Okay, I guess we're about ready to get going. So I got a three quarter inch. Uh, gear wrench that I'm going to be using to do this job rather than using an impact gun. Put a bit of oil on the uh, clamp here. I put some oil in the uh, hole where the pin's supposed to go but now I've created a piston the pin keeps popping out because it's compressing air in there. So it's a very tight fit so you may or may not want to put oil in there. I have to start with the smallest pin on the Huckmobile which is the same as a 34 Ford pin. Like I said I used a drift and a two pound hammer before. If you look at the uh, original factory pin, you can see that it's got a, a knurl on the top. And then hopefully you can tell that there's a spiral fluting on it for oil. So I guess we shall try to take off the bottom pin. So bear with me while I try to get this thing attached. that it doesn't walk around too much on the pin. Because obviously that could become a problem. Be worthwhile filing the pin flat before you start this process. turning it. Still on it. So hopefully we can get this thing to pop soon. Thank you. 
starting to push the pin in now. Fortunately, I'm only half on the pin and half. I'm going to hit the body of the hinge so I can back out and start over. So this looks like it's going to be an iterative process. Difficulty seeing if it's going in or not. I want to split this clamp in half. Let's go back to it again. So I'm thinking that if you can get away with a hammer and a drift. That might be the way to go. This is kind of tricky. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I lifted the head a touch, which I couldn't do with the drift to begin with, so I'm happy about that. But getting much further is going to be challenging. And it seems that the uh, pin gets fairly tight inside of here, so I might have a bit of struggle to get that out. But we've gotten the important part. So I'm just going to try to pop it out now. tripod in a way, it's a bit challenging to swing the hammer. Not that I'm a, a great aim most of the time. Not really getting as good a hit as I'd like. So there are 10 of these hinges on the vehicle, so I try not to break the tool on the first shot. So maybe we can't do this in one video, but you can see what you're going to be up against. Getting it much past that spot there could uh, take a bit of effort. So I'm just going to stop the video for a bit, keep plugging away, but as you can see that it's not a, a miracle tool in my all right, so just a couple minutes have passed. I've decided to move on to the uh, middle door hinge rather than working on the bottom one. So I just got the tool tightened up on the hinge. And it seems to be grabbing onto the pin quite nicely. 
it's not walking on this one. So I would definitely take the effort of filing the pin and bottom just to make sure that uh, it's a good flat surface. And this one, you can tell, is going quite nicely. Just looking inside of the top hole. It seems to be pretty close to the same size as the pin. Alright, so that's good. We have one success. I don't know the history of the car too much. I got it in North Carolina. I don't know where it was originally registered. So it's quite possible it was driven in the winter and there's corrosion on the bottom pin here. Keeping it from coming off. So uh, yeah, it's just about out. It's coming out nicely. So I don't think you need to move on to the second pin. At this point you should be able to just thump it out with a hammer and a drift. Now I just make a note about this wrench here. It's hard to get it all in one shot. This is a gear wrench, like extra long. It's got a, a 12 point on one end. You can see it's a little bit different than your average wrench. And then a 12 point gear wrench on this end. So uh, they're really big. Probably better for just removing things. I don't think you want to tighten anything with it because you'll probably make it impossible for the next person unless they have one of these wrenches. So just uh, whip this off. I see. Success. Center of frame even. All right, so uh, grab the jack and hammer. Let's see how much water. Still in there pretty tight, but I've gotten to the point where I can get it out. So, as you can see, there's that flute marked in it. I may actually try to reuse these hinge pins. They look like they're in pretty good shape. I think, I can't remember how many kilometers on the car here. It's like 42,000 miles on it, whatever that is in kilometers. So anyway, I guess that wraps up the video. The bottom one shows that you could have challenges, so the tool may or may not work for you right off the hop. I was able to move the uh, pin there. Oh, I don't know, about a sixteenth of an inch, and now it's kind of bound up. So I'll pick away at that a little bit more. But uh, I guess that's uh, the end of the video for this tool here. So is it worth it? Yeah, if you save one scratch on your paint, it has more than paid for itself. So you might as well have one in your toolbox if you have anything from a 28 to a 48 Ford. So that covers 20 years. So you could have multiple vehicles in that range. So thank you for watching. Okay, we're back. It's one of those conversations that you just can't get away from. So uh, I ended up switching the clamp to the other side because it was trying to walk towards the vehicle that way and it was going off the edge of the pin. So when I put it on here, and this, the torque of things actually made it walk the other way around. And uh, it looks like we're gonna make it now. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. All right. So when you're working without a camera, you're not in quite a hurry to line things up. Okay, we'll take a second and think about what was going on. And it looks like I solved the issue. But still, I would recommend you dress the bottom of the pins 
and I put a little bit of oil on the uh, tool so that it doesn't gall up on me. There you go. Two pins off, so this side of the vehicle I can take the doors off, but I I got to put the door on the back on actually and trace to the bottom so I can make some uh, paper templates so I can make uh, matching door skins for the both sides. So that'll be uh, perhaps another video that you'll see later on. So again, uh, thank you for watching.